Weather Rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. We are starting to see the clouds move into our area right now. Again, a little disturbance aloft is not only sending the clouds our way, but it's also starting to usher in some slightly cooler weather. We're going to feel the full effects as we go throughout the day tomorrow. But you'll notice the clouds are on top of us. There could be a sprinkle here or there, especially to our north and to our east. But generally speaking, again, we're looking at a pretty quiet evening. If you are headed out, you are going to notice those winds picking up. It's uh, starting to really pick up over toward Comanche and Brownwood at this hour. Temperatures are in the low to mid 50s in that region, still holding on to 58 degrees here in Waco. Our high today topped out at 64 degrees, which is just a little bit above average. Temperatures down toward the Brazos Valley, still holding on into the lower 60s under partly cloudy skies. Temperatures are cooler, that is for sure, than yesterday at this time. Around 9 degrees colder here in Waco, 14 degrees colder in the Brownwood area. And you can see that colder air is going to start to seep a little bit farther down to the southeast. So it's going to be colder before you know it down toward the College Station area as it gets a little bit closer to your region. Look at those winds. About 23 miles per hour right here in Waco out of the north and west. But you can see the brighter colors off to our northwest. That indicates some very strong winds uh, not far away. And again, that whole complex is moving in our direction. We're going to notice those strong winds as we go throughout the day tomorrow. Let's get you set here. Again, partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies expected this evening. There's a couple waves of clouds moving through. So if you aren't seeing many clouds right now, you're going to probably see some later on. And there'll be a few breaks. This is at midnight. Temperatures falling back down into the 40s here across the region. There comes that trough moving through. So I think we start the day tomorrow with mostly cloudy skies. Now, the farther to the south you go, you may see a few more breaks, maybe even some uh, more sunshine down toward the Gettings area, but that little disturbance doesn't last long. And by mid to late morning tomorrow, we're talking mostly sunny skies. It doesn't look bad tomorrow, but it's going to be cool. High temperatures right around 50 degrees or so for the high. And then you factor in the strong winds out of the northwest, 15 to 30 miles per hour. That will put a, definitely a dent in what it feels like across our area. By late in the nighttime hours there, we're talking Wednesday into Thursday, we'll see temperatures drop down into the, I say, upper 20s to the lower 30s. And a lot of sunshine on Thursday. Thursday looks, uh, again, a, like a warmer day right now with uh, temperatures in the upper 50s and lower 60s, 60 Brownwood, 60 probably right now in the Llano area. But those winds will be the story as we go throughout the day tomorrow. Still pretty strong here in Waco, Temple, and Colleen. But as you work your way down toward College Station and the Brazos Valley, there is a wind advisory that kicks in tomorrow morning, runs throughout the day. And this region here could see winds uh, gusting about 35, maybe as strong as 40 miles per hour from time to time. Tonight, though, we're increasing those clouds. 35 degrees will be the low temperature. And then tomorrow, clouds to start and then quickly turning sunny by late morning. 50 degrees, and again, pretty windy here in our area. Northwest winds at 15 to 30 miles per hour. Take a look at the forecast, and what you're going to no notice here is sunshine, dry weather, and warmer weather on the way. If you can hold on here, Friday looks great. 68, 74 right now on Saturday. A few more clouds on Sunday, 79. Chances of rain there on Monday and Tuesday with temperatures in the 70s. And you can kind of see the same thing down toward Bryan and College Station. Pretty quiet weather pattern, a little chilly there on Thursday morning, but a great looking weekend with dry conditions. The rain moves in on Monday. Get that